Michael, this is an Enery Station project. Sorry, I haven't posted a video in a few weeks, but uh, we were on a vacation, and then I had to tackle this project. I had to put a canopy of chicken wire over the coop run, and there's a good reason for that. We had uh, three ducks, and now we only have two. So, we did grab a couple of chickens. This is Anna and Elsa. My daughter names all of the uh, animals. So, yeah, we're pretty sure it was a raccoon. And we did kill a snake that was also in here that we think was just stealing eggs. Pretty sure it was a raccoon. And uh, Daisy 3, unfortunately. Uh, she's on permanent vacation. Alright, we're going to get back to uh, work on the windows. We're going to be painting them. I didn't do any footage of me sanding and doing epoxy work to any of like the nail holes and defects in the salvaged wood because I was bored out of my mind just doing it. I can't imagine somebody watching me do it. Sanding is not something I'm a big fan of and I think it's horribly boring. So I've skipped you ahead to everything's prepped, everything's ready to go. We got our paint color. I'm going to show you what we chose. Okay. Bayer is uh, not sponsored. They're just, uh, they are actually my favorite paint company. If I've got to paint something, I prefer Bayer. I know everybody's probably got their own ideas of who's good, uh, but I like them. And I bet you probably weren't expecting that. So I'm going to do some mixing. It's pretty good. Give it a little light. So this color is pretty bold and a little out of my comfort zone, but it's actually what was on the building originally. And I'll give you a look at that. Okay, so here's a look at the original window frame. And after I was cleaning on it for a while, I realized that it wasn't bare wood. It wasn't gray like a lot of things on the building are. It actually had this actually I think wonderful teal color which on a very gray kind of plain looking building would probably be a nice uh, welcome pop of color so you can see that's uh, wet still it's actually going to dry a hair darker and also this paint is fairly sun bleached and degraded and that's like the best spot I could find of it so we actually went a hair brighter we didn't try to match this exactly we tried to match what would this have looked like new and this was our best uh, guess at that so it also looked good with the grays that we were looking at so we're gonna go with this uh, probably some people disagree but uh, hey it's what was on the building originally and uh, I think it'll look good
Okay, got the first coat on all the window frames, and uh, I think they turned out all right. Uh, like I said, this is a first coat only. I know you could probably see some bare spots here or there. Uh, I'm going to do two full coats on this side, then I'll flip them, do two full coats on the other side, and then I'm going to pick up the glass that's going to happen in the next couple of days. So, as you can see, I'll give you a closer look. So, as you can see, it definitely that darkened up. It's much similar to the original color. And it's going to continue to darken a little bit as it dries. So I think I think that's a pretty decent match uh, to the original. So very happy with the color choice. I know it's a little probably bold for some people, but uh, it's going to be a lot of gray on this building. So try to keep that in mind. Okay, ready for the second coat. Had to do a little reorganizing because... Bum, 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 bum. We finally have glass for these windows. So I'll zoom in a little bit. You can see it's uh, double insulated and uh, I am very paranoid about breaking it. So I'm gonna be really, really careful. I think I'm gonna get one of those suction, suction cups, releasable ones for doing glass installation because it is heavy, heavy glass. Ready, ready to start the second coat. I uh, probably won't film it because it looks exactly like the first coat. I'll probably just come back to when everything's painted up and we are fitting glass. things I've done so far on this project uh, but got four of them done uh, I chose not to do them all in one shot just because I was kind of running out of good workspace to do it so I'm gonna wait for these to kind of dry the silicone and then I'll move them and then I'll set up three more and that should do it from my nose so these I went with double insulated glass the original was single pane so I can't do a jam traditionally where it was originally. So my plan actually is, is to put about a one inch, maybe three quarter inch piece of trim similar to that, stain it, and then I'll, I'll probably do like brass screws around the outside, and that'll give it kind of an industrial look. Uh, I didn't want to change the design of the window frame from original. Uh, one, because you know, I, it could always go back to single pane if you wanted to make it absolutely historically accurate. But the other thing is, uh, since I was learning how to do windows on the fly, I just thought design changes were beyond my, beyond my skills. So, alright, I guess uh, in the next couple of days I'll get the rest of them installed, hopefully, knock on wood, I will not break any of this glass. Uh, but, I'm happy I've gotten as far as I have. Alright, thanks everybody for watching.